Hi guys, I'm Shmi. You're watching more George. Enjoy. Hello guys, welcome back to another more George video and welcome to the Cotswolds. I'm down here with my girlfriend and my baby and our friends Callum and Alex and we are having a bit of a vacation, a bit of a trip away, a weekend away here in one of the most beautiful parts of the country in my opinion. I am here in my BMW 330e hybrid which I have to say this does this car doesn't fit in particularly because something like this in this area is way more common. Um, this really is Land Rover country out here in the Cotswolds. But I have to say on these twisty roads, I had a lot of fun in the 330E earlier, extra boost sport mode, manual paddle shifters. That was a lot of fun. However, today I do want to show you my friends, insane Land Rover Discovery from 2002, the TD5, which they have heavily, heavily modified. I've just checked with them and, and they're happy for me to show it on the channel today. We are heading over to tomorrow. This video will pick up Jeremy Clarkson's farm shop on our way out of here, back down to Brighton where we live. So, Land Rover Discovery, 2002? 2002. TD5. TD5, five cylinder turbo. Very nice. Beautiful car. And what on earth have you done to it then? <laughs> well, um, it's a work in progress for a yeah. start. It's got a two inch uh, suspension lift on it and uh, obviously massive 33 inch tires. Wow. Um, really wide, some uh, wide arches, a snorkel. Uh, it's remapped to stage two plus. It's got straight through exhaust. Wow. Very loud, it's faster than my old Golf GTI. <laughs> <laughs> and you've done a lot of work yourself. Well, most, yeah. Pretty much all the work yourself. Pretty much all the work myself. Because you are, yeah. you know what you're doing, basically. That's right. Yeah. yeah. There's uh, yeah, lots to it. Um, retrofitted Isofix seats inside the, the back. Yeah, can we have well, a look at that? Baby, actually. yeah. So this is your first discovery, but yeah. you have loved Land Rover products for a long time. We have. Okay, cool. So you, you yeah. actually, yeah, you went and found these seats, installed them yourself. Yep, so we've got. All of this yeah, Isofix perfect. in All there, safe. so we've got For a the kids. seat. Too. Love it. That's right. So you've had other Land Rovers in the past? Yeah, a Defender 110, so that had nine seats, wow. <laughs> which was amazing. But um, yeah, it was a bit ropey for us, uh, and this yeah. one is a lot nicer, yeah. easier to drive. 100%. Cruise control. Which, which you fitted yourself as well? Yes. Yeah. So you, you find these quite easy to work on, or you at least know what you're doing with them? Yeah, yeah. nuts and bolts as a lamp. And what is the plan? You were saying about you want to get like tents on here and... Yeah, wanna... we've already got um, like a roof, bot, like a roof tent. And yeah. folds out, um, which is waiting on a roof rack to then install that and have an awning coming out the side of it. Perfect. A bit more of a lift as well, so we can do all the off road stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you're currently, I mean, I don't think I've ever seen a discovery like this on the road before. I think it's pretty unique, isn't it? It's pretty good, yeah. You don't see it's, very many of them, no. That is an aggressive looking car. You can hear you coming, you can see you coming. Definitely, yeah. <laughs> it's just missing the front bumper at the moment, which uh, is going to be steel with a big winch on the front, hence the red wiring. Love it, <laughs> yeah, that's all there, ready. Perfect. So, absolute beast. Absolute beast, I love it. And MPG? About 15. <laughs> <laughs> and that's about it, really. Yeah. It. <laughs> Great stuff. Okay, have a look at the interior. I do love these. Oh. It's gonna sit in here. You sit so high up in these. Just hopped in your car, mate. Hope you don't mind. <laughs> I do love the interior of these. You sit so high up, the view of the road. And a little sneak preview, Lucy and I, coming soon, we're thinking of joining the Land Rover family, becoming Land Rover owners. We are new to it. We're totally new to the brand, um, but part of us have always wanted to own Land Rover or Range Rover. A little hint there maybe but yeah plenty of room such a cool these guys like go camping in this and chuck all their stuff in the back so much room and i'm a big fan of these interiors callum has the manual which is rarer he was telling me but a little bit more fun especially as he's had it mapped i was following him earlier and you hear this thing this thing is loud
okay is the next day and we have made it out after a really nice drive through the Cotswolds to Dalesford Farm Shop. Um, we're actually still with our friends, we're going to grab some breakfast before heading over to Diddley Squat. But from what I understand, this is quite a high-end farm shop and judging by the car park, I would, I would say that that's true. Full of Land Rovers, full of Range Rovers. We've seen the new BMW i4, the new Mustang E-Mac. We've seen a lot of cars here, Jaguars. Audis, all sorts of things. It's a Sunday, so people are out driving their nice cars around the Cotswolds and stopping into a farm shop. So we need a little bit of food. We're going to pick that up. I have to say my 330E, although not suitable for some of the more off-road sections that you find yourself driving through in the Cotswolds, fantastic on the narrow, windy country roads. Absolutely a joy to drive this car. A little bit filthy. We will have to clean her up when we get home. Bit of a muddy day today. Oh wow, that is very nice. What a personalised plate on that, did you see that? 850X, very very nice. Oh, the wheels on that as well, incredible. Yeah, super muddy along here. All the way, all the way around. You right to clean that up when we get back? No. No, okay. Don't so you should be walking? Yeah. Super nice, man. Okay, we are heading out of Clarkson's farm shop. Obviously a lot of cool cars in the car park as well. Huge Range Rover up, very, very high on huge wheels and tires. I hinted that we may be joining the Land Rover family at some point, definitely. at some point. Definitely. But if we do that, we will definitely have to bring it back up to the Cotswolds because this is Land Rover country, man. It, it, they just fit in so well. They just look so at home here and it was so fun. Thanks to my friend Callum, if you're watching, for showing us around your discovery yesterday. And with that, I'm gonna end this video. It's been kind of like a bit more of a vlog, um, but I'm still finding my feet with this channel. I, I'm a vlogger, if you don't know. I My main thing is vlogging my life on my other channel. So, but this is my car channel because that's one of my huge passions in life. So, hope you enjoyed it. If you wanna see more with Callum's Land Rover, then I'm sure he would be up for being in more videos and we can go out and it, take it for a drive, maybe do a little bit of off-roading. He's basically turning it into an overlanding monster. He wants to put a tent on it. He's getting a leisure battery so he can run kind of appliances off it. Uh, he wants to... Oh, gosh. Okay. He was saying he wants to turn the whole rear of it into like a cooking area and build like an inbuilt grill with gas hookup, gas bottles and things. So it will be cool to see the progress he makes with the discovery. But thanks so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. Really help me out. I'm trying to build up this channel this year. Really enjoying it, vlogging about cars. So thanks so much for watching. Please also subscribe. That would really help me out. And I'll see you in another video very, very soon.